experiment is based on the concept of Dead Sea. Have you heard of Dead Sea? No? It is the sea where everything floats, nothing sinks, including human beings. Surprised? Okay, let's look at the simple experiment. We fill these two glasses with water. Put one soya bean into each glass. And we see that the soya bean doesn't float, instead it sinks. Now take some salt and put it in glass number one. Now stir it well until the salt dissolves in water. What do we see now? We see that the bean which did not float before has suddenly come to the surface and it is floating now. So let's try this out. Let's try with another soya bean. So we drop this and it floats on the surface. Now even if I apply some force and push it to the bottom, it will still come to the surface. So let's try with a few more soya beans. So we see that contrary to a normal water where the bean sinks to the bottom, in case of salt water, the beans are floating on the top. Let us try to understand the science behind what we have observed just now. So we all know that things float when they are positively bind. I hope you all remember the Archimedes principle which says that a body when partially or fully immersed in a liquid experiences an upward force which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. And this upward force is called the bind force. Now when you look at these two glasses, for the first glass if you see the buoyant force which is proportional to the weight of the displaced fluid which in turn is proportional to the density of the fluid. So here the density of water is less therefore the buoyant force is less and as a result the body sinks because the net force acting on the body is in the downward direction. Whereas in this glass what happens is the density of the salt water is a lot more than normal water. As a result the buoyant force is more so the net force acting on each of these beams is in the upward direction and therefore it floats. Now as we know let us look at this free body diagram for each of these beams which we have put into the water. So if you look at it in the downward direction will act mg which is its weight and in the upward direction it will experience the buoyant force which is given by again mg where m would be the mass of the water that is displaced which can be written as rho m into v into g. So therefore the net force acting on the beam would be the difference between the buoyant force and the weight of the beam that is rho naught vg minus rho l vg that is rho naught minus rho l into vg. So what we understand is whether the object will sink or the object will float that completely depends upon the difference in the densities of the object and the fluid. So in this glass what happens is the density of the object that is the density of the beam is such that the net force is acting in the upward direction and as a result it floats. Few important points that you can remember while performing this experiment are Number one, make sure that you add sufficient amount of salt into this water because in order for uh, this experiment to happen or to see this phenomenon, it is important that the salt concentration is really high. Number two, make sure that you choose an object of the correct density in order to see this phenomenon. Now, in case you take a very heavy object, then what will happen? The density of the object will become very high and as a result, the downward force would be more and as a result it will sink. But again, in another case, if you take something which is very very light, for example, maybe a small sheet, a small piece of paper or maybe a small piece of thermocol, which is very light. So as a result, that density will be too less, less and in that case, it will anyways float in normal water also. So a small piece of paper will float anyways in both of these glasses. So therefore it is very important that we choose an object of the right density which doesn't flow in the, float in the normal water but it floats in the salt water. So uh, I would advise you to try out with different types of beans or any other object. Maybe you might come up with some other objects which is again floating in uh, the salt water. I hope there was 
a lot of learning in this experiment. So if you want, you can also perform this experiment at your home and definitely share your feedback with us. Like and share the video and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.